my wanders, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily, aka Wander Blush, here on YouTube. And I feel like it's been a while since I've filmed like a, I would say sit down, but I'm not sitting, I'm standing. So today, hi, welcome, hey, how you doing? It's late, I'm so tired, <laughs> like I am in every video, am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? A couple of days ago, I posted on my Instagram that I wanted to do a Q&A with you guys because, news alert, I have hit over 1.4 thousand subscribers, 1,400 wanderers that are watching my videos and, and liking my content and giving me love. And all I want to say is thank you so much. So this is my little gift to you. I decided I haven't done, it's been oh, three, oh, three years? Has it been three years? Like actually started formulating content for YouTube. And I've never done a Q&A. Um, I think I posted about it in the past, but um, sure haven't done it yet. Um, I went over to Instagram, which is right here. If you don't follow me on Instagram, do it. I got a couple questions and I thought, why not answer them for you? Thank you to the people who gave me Instagram questions and questions for this Q&A. Thank you so much, you guys are awesome. So the first question I have is from Brie Hertzberg. My girl Brie Hertzberg is an awesome YouTube creator. She's an awesome content creator. Make sure that you go check her out on Instagram. We're actually doing a collab soon. She asked me, what is your favorite show you've been in so far? My favorite show, let me think, I've ever been in. Like show, ah, oh, oh. First one, really I think it's gonna be hard. I think my favorite show that I've ever been in was the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee. That is where, I mean I'm a little biased, that is where my fiance and I um, really started dating and we started falling in love. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, I think that's my favorite show. Another show that really is so, so true and dear to my heart is In the Heights. I vlogged it all last summer. It was really just an incredible experience in a community unlike any other that I've ever been a part of. Um, I don't know, the shows in college were just different than shows in high school. I loved I loved performing in high school. It really was where my, my love for theater and, and my obsession for musical theater came from. But um, yeah, there's so much, there's so much drama. Too much really too much. I've gone to therapy over that kind of drama. Okay, another one from Brie. What's the most embarrassing thing that's happened to you or you've done on stage? Okay, the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to me on stage happened this contract on my ship. There is one cruise where my, my hair is just truly not cooperating with me in any way, shape, or form. Um, I, I, multiple shows, like I have, I wear different hair pieces and wigs. Um, and the first show that I had during the week where I was wearing a hair piece, part of my, my hair piece got caught in Gabe's button of his, this like big lavish jacket he's wearing. Um, and meanwhile, we're on top of a gigantic set piece. So we're singing this extremely like sexy song we're on the ocean and I'm standing in my character shoes. Sorry, I'm getting very excited. And, and my freaking hair gets caught. But that wasn't my most embarrassing moment. No, you know why? Because later in that cruise, for the next show in the cruise, the show that I always talk about, the 70s show. Oh, at the very finale, in this show, I'm finishing the show with my cast, and the song is Last Dance. And if you know the song, you know Last Dance ends with that big old note. Ah! I had sang that note one time already, and I was like, yes, it's a great night. This, this song is it's still going so well. And Gabe and I are doing... Again, Gabe. And I have a clip in ponytail. You know, it just has like a, uh, a grip right there. You know, like a claw clip. Hey, but Gabe and I are doing our partnering bit and all of a sudden, and I don't, I, I still to this day, I have no idea what happened. I don't know how it got caught, like, but we're doing these turns and I'm turning under him and my hair gets caught. And I thought, there's no time. There's literally no time. What do I do? Emily, what do you do? I just go for it and I go, shit, because that's sometimes what you gotta do in theater. And I just ripped out the clip. So it's just my slicked back show hair and a, and a bad like braided bun. But all I know is that all the ladies in the audience who ever wear a weave, who have ever worn a hair piece of any kind or have ever worn a wig, literally went, yes! Yes, rip off that weave! Because everybody saw me catch it. I'm right dead center. I'm right 
And basically, in people's faces, sweating. It is the end of the show, and it rips out. And you know what? I finished that show with no hairpiece. Just slick to the gods. But I got probably the most appreciation from an audience that I had ever gotten, because they were just like, we saw a girl. And you survived. I'm sure I've had other very embarrassing moments on stage, because it's my life. And the most embarrassing thing I've done on stage? Well. <laughs> um, so in high school, when we would do shows, you'd be double cast to give as many people an opportunity to be a role as possible. My senior year of high school, I was in Beauty and the Beast. I was Belle. Very, very lucky to be Belle. It was an extreme honor, and I loved playing that role. I'd love to play that role again at this point in my life. Whatever. Moving on. But on our off nights, we would play someone in the ensemble. We we both on our off nights we played one of the objects within that within the castle. We're a champagne bottle. Ugh. And it was kind of one of those like Halloween like foam champagne bottles. So I was like, well, if I'm gonna be chorus on my you know night of not being Belle, I'm gonna give it all I've got. Am I right? Human again? Only human again? This is the time for the champagne bottle to just like live its life. There was all this drama around it. I remember like because of snow, I didn't get the opening night that I was supposed to have. So this other girl got the op like the technical opening and the closing and I was very, very hurt. And there was also a lot of other stuff. My director was shady, like whatever. So the night that, you know, it's we're singing, I think we're singing human again or be your guest. Might have, might have been be our guest. I don't know. I don't know one of those songs. And um, and at the end, Belle is like the girl who's playing Belle. She's like waving to us, like get off the stage, like I'm Belle. And, um, I just I went I went crazy. But I just started. <laughs> I just started yelling on stage, like out of nowhere, like because because I was a I was a freaking champagne bottle. What? So I just started going, Bye Bell! 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 Bye Bell! Bell! Bye Bell! And the girl who was playing, I'm not gonna shout your name out, but if you're watching this video and you say you didn't make this face, no, this is the face you made because this is seared into my memory because I was such a to you in this moment. I'm sorry, by the way. I'm sorry if I like ruined a moment for you. She turns around as if to like wait goodbye and she like looks at me like, What is happening? And I was like, Bell! Screaming. It's like, Emily, get off the, just get off the stage. Just like, be, be like a, a professional and get off the stage. And she just goes. And I think I laughed for a solid three hours after that. I just, I was, I guess I was just super hyper in high school, but high school, am I right? I want chips. Sun chips. This next set of questions from Frances. She has a couple of questions that are not performer related, so this is fun to change it up. Okay, first question, what is your favorite color? My favorite color has always technically been Kelly Green. The bright, bright green color is so full of life and pretty. My favorite color to probably wear is Jewel Tones. I'm obsessed with Jewel Tones. I love me some burgundy. Y'all have seen me and I'm probably gonna appear at a very special date in October. How tall are you? How dare you, Francis? I am five two and a half. What are your top five makeup products you have to have? I'm just gonna, if they're right in front of me, I'm just gonna grab them. Um, definitely the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip, Lip Liner in Exaggerate. I'm wearing it right now, obsessed. That is number one. Number two, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. It is my favorite because it is such a great dupe for the NARS concealer, the NARS Creamy Concealer. So I love that. Number three, the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I just love the way it feels on my skin. It doesn't feel like that weird residue-y. Hoola Bronzer. Perfect bronzer for like anyone. So vital, so clutch. Um, and five, my Anastasia Ber Beverly Hills Brow Pomade. I'm obsessed with them. Do you prefer lip balm or lip gloss? Honestly, neither. But I'm all about, I'm, I love me some liquid lipstick. It depends on the day. Okay, next one by Abstar921. Her question is, where do you most want to visit in the world and why? That's a good one. You know what? The place I would love to visit the most would definitely be this small 
city in Italy, Cinque Terre, because um, when I studied abroad in Italy, back when I was in college, I had a group of friends that went to Cinque Terre like during a break and they said how beautiful it was and how much it was just like so quaint and perfect and how they hiked and just drank wine and had the best time ever. That's the thing I probably regret most about Italy is not going there. Look it up, Google it. It's so great. It's in Tuscany. Wow. Um, the next question I have, um, it was also by Abstar. Thanks girl. She asked me, what is your favorite playlist show? So that is, that is a very specific question towards the types of ships that I work on. I try very hard not to mention the company I work for. I'm sure you all know at this point, if you're curious, you've probably figured it out just by the descriptions I've given of different shows. I don't talk about the company I work for, just in the off chance I might say something that offends them. I don't wanna, I don't wanna risk my job, of course. It said, what is your favorite playlist show? If you're curious what a playlist show is, go research it yourself. I'm not going to tell you what company a playlist show is for. My favorite playlist show as of late is still is still Epic Rock. I've never been in it. I've seen it a couple times, but it is my favorite one so far. It's just like amazing rock and roll music, like so good. And I, I would love to be in it. I would because it would be extremely challenging and really, really rewarding and really fun. But my favorite one that I've been in I really love, I love the Studio 54 show I'm in. I love the 70s show because it's just so fun. It's so outrageous. It changes every single night because we have audience members participating in it. And the costumes are sick and my makeup that I get to do is fun and I get to sing Last Dance and it's just really fun and it's an empowering show and it's challenging in its own way. Oh, she also asked, what's your favorite ship you've worked on? Well, I worked on two ships. I don't know. I really don't know. The last couple questions I have are from, on Instagram, are from Hotline Ding. Um, any memorable fan audience members from your cruise show? Um, let me think. This past cruise, I had an awesome group of girls. I'm pretty sure they were all on spring break and they were maybe from Florida, University of South Florida. They were so awesome. I, I I felt their their just kind of positivity and energy and 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 spirit for fun. As soon as I met them, first I thought they were gonna be troublemakers when I had to do like a, a safety speech, but then they just ended up being really really sweet. They were wonderful. They brought all their friends to the shows and they were loud and they were dancing and that's exactly what audience members should be. Audience members in the shows that we do on cruise ships, I don't care what ship you're on, you're supposed to be up. If, if the music is fun and dancey, you are supposed to be up and dancing and having fun. And they, I think they brought a lot of joy to my cast. We were having a rough week and um, just tiring, tiring week. And they brought life to us and I needed them. Thank you. So on my last contract, in the 70s show, always, the first part of the show in which we bring audience members up is hustle. Ugh. This one night, I had a gentleman that was a larger man. He was, I mean, I don't know if he was all muscle, but he was just like, number one, he was tall. He was tall. I'm five, two and a half. He was at least five, nine. And, and um, in the 200 range, he was a bigger man. He was drunk, wasted. If someone comes intoxicated, like super intoxicated to the show, we won't give them the passes that give them audience participation, but I think he just steadily got drunker during the show, um, which hey, good for him, but for everyone's safety, including us, really, honestly, that's really scary, especially if it's someone of my height, I'm a smaller person, so I've dealt with people of all sizes, all ages, all walks of life, but when you get someone who's very intoxicated on top of what I can handle in terms of strength, it was tough. This man, I kid you not, this man, I get him up, to do the hustle and I'm like, oh, watch me, watch me, put your hands up. And he's just like, what? No. Trying to get him up. Like, come on, come on. Gets up and he turns and he just like, as soon as he turns, he goes. I legit, I actually just fell. I just slipped, I just broke this. Slippers just slipped on the ground, it's really slippery. Well, that's how it went down. He went, there's there's like a, there's a banister right here and he just like hits it and he just is sinking. 
And meanwhile, he's grabbing me and dragging him down. I was too small to be dragged down with this large man. Pulling this 26 year old down into the depths. And he's like pulling me down. And I just went, I got a host and I went, get him. And I just pulled this really, this fun looking girl in the seat. Her partner had already gotten up and started dancing with us. And so I just went, come with me. And she just was just like, yes, like killing it. So that is it. Those are all the questions that I have. Thank you everybody who responded to my Instagram post about this Q&A. You guys are awesome. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want other Q&As, ask me down below. No, just tell me that's what you want and I'll do more. Ask me any questions that you want. And I'll answer as many as I can for you. So guys, thank you so much. Thank you for... Thank you for 1,400 subscribers. I love you guys. I love The Wanderers. You guys are my freaking favorites. I'll see you guys in my next video. So don't forget to peace, love, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.